The next one is from BC. He's here. We go. Hey guys, BC here. Uh, I hear a, a lot of banter between you guys from the Navy and the Air Force. Uh, and I was also wondering, is there also a lot of banter between uh, different airframes? For uh, instance, the uh, the Viber guys versus the Hornet guys and uh, the Fat Amy uh, uh, guys and girls, by the way. Um, is that a thing? And why is that? And is there a, some kind of top of the food chain airframe that everyone uh, looks up against and they look down on everyone? Uh, love to hear it and uh, very interested in your insights and uh, really enjoyed the show. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember the first time I went to Northern Edge. I'll never forget this, this story. So up in Alaska, and it was the first time the Raptors were coming to Northern Edge ever, right? So, so, to speak. <laughs> so all the Viper guys show up, right? And I was like, wow, Viper. I mean, they're it's cool, right? Well, then the Eagle guys roll in. And they squash the Viper guys because that's oh. how they act. Well, then now the Raptor guys come in. And the Eagle guys aren't used to Nerds. not being at the top of the fighter pilot food chain. And we were all out at this massive restaurant in, in Elmendorf. And we paid the waitress to go over to the Raptor table and play this whole thing up. There was the Hawkeye squadron. We paid her extra. And she walked over <laughs> and she goes, and she goes, are you, are you guys here for that big exercise? And of course, I mean, picture these Raptor guys, they're, they're out and they're just, yeah. And she goes, oh my God, do you fly that sexy E2 with the, the ditch <laughs> on top? <laughs> it was the funniest thing to watch those guys, just their egos implode. And like one of them's like, no, we're real fighter pilots. And, and she's like, well. I would do some real things if you flew that plane and walked away. And it just deflated the whole, it was so like, she played it up so good. And I was Perfect. like, awesome. So. Awesome. And then we all well, got Viper guys for doing low transitions. <laughs> so in the E2. Whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Viper the guys whole, the whole no, no, no. The whole, the whole exercise got grounded. Oh, because oh. we got into a low transition takeoff competition and the colonel literally or whoever it was that was in charge of it literally sat over everybody and he was like i knew it was bad when the hawkeye got involved we're done <laughs> no more low transitions <laughs> i was like yes so well, yeah i mean to answer the guy's question it's basically you have pride in your yeah. work right so you're Absolutely. you're pride you you're go, pr yeah right you're proud of your airplane you know no matter what it is i mean wombat you're proud to be a hawkeye guy when you were that's why you guys play that joke on the raptor nerds right so like <laughs> nerds <laughs> it's you know it's kind of like the well, you know because the neighboring... everybody takes things too seriously too so you have to have a good time with it because yeah. it's a high stress job i mean well and here's the other thing it's like the hawkeye is way better than the raptor at carrying six people that's a fact. It's fine. Right. But but you know what I'm saying? Like you, way, to, we can, way to know your Navy aircraft. Thanks, buddy. But, Jesus. But, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's oh yeah. It's it's, it's you know, it's subjective. And then and like I said, man, it's just like in sports, right? The the your the high school team in the neighboring town, those guys are nowhere as near as good as you are. So it's just it really has to do with just squadron pride, airframe pride. And you have to think you're the best, or else you would never do the yes. job you're asked to do. Yeah. Like if you legitimately didn't think you were the best and you climbed into aircraft built by the lowest bidder and got launched off an aircraft carrier, <laughs> you're nuts. by the lowest bidder. I've seen that. I've seen that comment <laughs> a lot from the like, because, you know, obviously I've maybe done a few YouTube videos and I, I read all the comments. And I see that a lot, especially like when I did the Su-57 thing, because people are like, you'd be shaking in your boots if you saw one in the air. And it's like, I would be the worst fighter pilot in the world if I thought that. Like, I yeah. go up there, if I'm in a jet, I think I'm going yes. to win. I think I will use all Every the trainings, time. tactics, techniques, and procedures that I've been trained right to, to do. Right to the fireball. And right to the fireball. Right to the end. <laughs> I will keep we're flying that thing until the very bitter end. And there's no point where I'm going to go, well, I'm going to die. I mean, not, you might not, think that way in the back, which we'll get to that not in a minute. Conscious, not conscious. It's but like, dude, you I mean, believe you, it. Yeah. It, you know, it's like, it's the old joke. It's like, I wasn't, I wasn't defensive. I just wasn't very offensive, you know? Yeah. <laughs> slightly well, less that, offensive. Right. Yeah. At that point, Mover, <laughs> we were doing some training in my current job, and there was a story about, 
like a pilot just froze, right? In training, just froze. And I'm like, froze? I'm like, I'm going to be the guy that's still trying to fly the Airbus when I see the fuselage over there. And it's just <laughs> me in the cockpit. Nothing's attached. And I'm like, I think I could pull this one off. I, yeah. Give me a it's chance. Just a flush gotta, wound. It's just a flush I think wound. I, I mean, that's just how you're bred. And I think right. that oozes out to everything else. Um, you know, the camaraderie, all that. I mean, it's no different. And we all secretly know that you need everybody. I mean, somebody's got to bring the good golf courses and cold beer. I mean, that's the just the war fact. needs Zamboni drivers. I mean, who's going to clear the picture for us, the people that actually do the mission, the Eagle guys? That's true. I mean, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, and, everybody you know, has their role. It's just nobody's role is as good as your role. That's all. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the the old Mel, Mel Brooks movie, Let Them All Go to Hell Except Cave 76. Yeah, that was his <laughs> whole national anthem. Yeah. Uh, anyway, moving on. That was a good one. I Some good stuff good. there. We used to tax our Viper guys used to taxi by the Eagle and go to sec, which would close the nozzle because of the. <laughs> That's funny. Is that, that like is you, you did the joke on the carrier deck. I'm sure gonky where you would put the refueling probe out for certain. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 That was fun. The whole line of fighters and somebody would walk by and just see refueling probe, just refueling probe, refueling probe. All right. All right. Well, let's see. <laughs> Until the let's air see boss was like, knock it off. Y yellow light. <laughs> <laughs>